Broadcasting live outside of the house that Big Ron built. This is Shad Didi Laser. And I feel refreshed. I feel good. I feel energized. I feel blessed. I feel like uh, very relaxed right now. Just got done with a Big Ron yoga session. And, you know, the decision this morning was to either, A, uh, head to some form of grappling. You know, there's early morning judo, there's jujitsu that goes on, there's some sparring in the afternoon, or uh, restore my body a little bit and go to yoga. And that yoga is my way of restoring my body. So... Option B won out, and I am very thankful and blessed for it. Now, what is Bikram Yoga? So, Bikram Yoga is a form of yoga, a style of yoga, created by a gentleman, a dude, called uh, Bikram Chaudhary. So, Bikram had some knee problems. He had very bad knee problems which prevented him from doing traditional yoga so what he did he said you know what i'm not going to keep torturing myself to do this traditional yoga i'm going to come up with a new system of yoga that will help me loosen up my body and have a total body impact as well so he created bikram yoga now outside of the history you know, started in India and then spread uh, worldwide. So one thing that separates Bikram yoga from other styles of yoga is that it is the same style of yoga, Bikram studio in Cockeysville, Maryland, where I am now, is going to be the same in uh, the Inner Harbor as it is in San Francisco. If it's a Bikram school, you're going to do the Bikram techniques. So going deeper into what those techniques are, there's 26 total postures. Now, if you do all 26 postures, it provides a total body cleanse and overall basically flexing certain parts and sending oxygen and fresh blood throughout different energy systems throughout your body. So it's a total body Uh, mind and body experience so why is it a total mind experience or a mental experience it's because the room ladies and gentlemen is 105 degrees it's hot frank lewis thank you for checking in we're talking bikram yoga today just got done with the session i feel like I'm, i'm floating on air right now so i'm levitating in my car somehow but is 105 degree temperatures. So as you start to get moving, you sweat more than I can think of. I've been to, you know, uh, the Middle East, been to the Middle East in the summertime. And there is nothing hotter than the Bikram yoga room once you start getting warmed up. So even something as simple as touching your toes, for example, becomes an exercise so when you're going through these postures it becomes real work to stay in it and stay focused so it could be something like keeping your arms straight or keeping your head up or straightening your posture and it becomes like a battle against yourself in order to get through the 26 postures the interesting thing is like you'll see a lot of uh, fighters, you'll see a lot of um, tough guys and bodybuilders, big buff gentlemen who come into the Bikram yoga room and by about posture 10, they break down, they leave the room and it's too much because once it starts to get hotter and hotter, the the heat kind of like embraces you and it causes a claustrophobic feeling. And it, it, you have to mentally push through it. Now, that creates mental toughness. Hey, Buttons, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to give you the thumbs up over here. 
Now, it creates a mental uh, mental barrier that you have to push through. And in life, when you reach those challenges, when you reach those uh, situations where you feel like you can't go another step or you can't deal with this anymore, it gives you that perseverance to keep pushing on through. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you work a thousand hours a week, Big Ram Yoga is your one place you can go. Hey, Victoria, thank you for checking in. Big Ram Yoga is your one place that you can go and kind of reset. You know, um, the guys, we, you know, as a men and uh, ladies locker room. So I'm in the locker room after uh, today's session and I'm discussing with... Uh, Paul, who is a 62-year-old man who's been doing Bikram yoga for eight years. And he was telling me that, or we discussed the notion that the first 15 minutes of yoga is the toughest. But the 15 minutes after Bikram yoga is the best feeling in the world. I feel like, like I'm on, a, you know, like Super Mario Brothers. When you jump on the cloud and you're, you're riding the cloud, I think it's like part two or part one. Uh, hey, Prather, thank you for joining me. And that's how that 15 minutes after is just like you, you work through everything. And, you know, it's just a, a, a big feeling of accomplishment. So uh, yoga, Bikram yoga specifically, because there's different types of yoga. Uh, and different types of postures that are some are universal. Now we're facing dogs, so on and so forth, triangle. But Bikram uh, yoga is 26 specific postures, and it's great whether you are you feel that you're out of shape and you haven't worked out in uh, five or ten years, or you you just had a child, or you're expecting a child. One of our instructors, well, actually two of our instructors, went through their entire pregnancy teaching yoga classes so it actually helped make uh delivering their children respective children a whole lot easier because they're more flexible they're more in tune with their bodies they have a higher pain tolerance which um you know you ladies all, all respect to you you know childbirth is tough but they through bikram yoga practice and regular practice it made it easier from the my conversations with them so if you're an athlete I highly recommend it. You know, um, I have my body. If you put like a, uh, x-ray under it, everything's wrong with me as far as bumps and bruises, injuries. This doesn't work right. Can't bend my arm a certain way because I'm always sparring. I'm always in some gym somewhere, uh, pushing my body to the limits. So what Bikram yoga does for me is it allows me to kind of hit the reset button and basically have the ability to get focus on flexibility for 90 minutes and get a deeper stretch than I can get at any class, at any workout, before sparring, after sparring. Even if I stretch every practice, when I'm in a 105 degree temperature room, my joints are warmed up so that I can become more flexible than I ever even imagined. In fact, when I first started doing Bikram yoga around 2011, I couldn't even touch my toes. You know, I was an all-state track athlete, you know, great athlete in high school and afterwards. But life got in the way and flexibility wasn't a priority for me. Had to pay these bills. So as I got a little older, I, I got into Bikram yoga, challenged myself, and now I can not only touch my toes, but I can take like my hand and put it over my toes. So if my toes are here and I can only reach. I can go over and like cut my toes. So my flexibility is on another level now, even though uh, I'm not a every day and night uh, Bikram yoga attendee. But during the times where I've done 30 day challenges, so on and so forth. I've definitely like, reached new heights in terms of what I thought was possible with my body, uh, my pain tolerance, my mental uh, capacity to go through anything pretty much. So it, it holds many different benefits. I highly encourage as we go into a new year to find a Bikram yoga studio near you. There's one in pretty much every city. And, 
you know, I'm in uh, Baltimore, USA, and there's uh, about four or five. So, you know, if you live in the uh, greater Maryland area, you have uh, a great opportunity. But there's people checking in from Japan, from Chicago, from the steel city of Pittsburgh. And I know that there's Bikram Studios in each and every locale and location. You just have to uh, look online and find a studio and find one that works for you. But I highly encourage you give it a try. Not just give it a try, give it a few classes. Because that first class, that heat is going to punch you in the chest and you're going to want to lay down and <laughs> you're going to want to leave the room. Uh, afterwards, you'll feel great, but you'll be a little sore from stretching beyond what you may uh, be used to. Expensive, in many cases, you'll have um, trial memberships. Like, for example, at my particular um, Bikram Yoga Studio, they do for... $25 you get 10 classes and they always have like a Groupon special or a living social special that's available to get started. So in most cases, I haven't been to a Bikram Yoga studio yet that does not offer a trial experience. That could be unlimited uh, classes for a week and some it could be unlimited for a month. Um, Charm City Yoga, for example, which is in Baltimore, just to give you another example, they give you, uh, basically you pay like 25 bucks and it's, you get unlimited for an entire month, which is phenomenal. But I also pose the question to you this way. What's more expensive, spending money on the prevention or getting that doctor's note saying that you need um, to, to focus on the, uh, the cure? So in some cases, surgery, or medications are way more expensive than the cure. So a membership is going to be a whole lot cheaper than a doctor giving you the uh, bad news. We want to focus on the prevention and maintaining our bodies uh, to the highest optimal uh, operating levels as opposed to falling behind and letting other things get in the way and then a doctor telling us, well, if you don't do this, you will die or this has to get amputated or you're going to live a lower standard of life. Let me tell you something else. Then I answer uh, KB or the uh, the button pushers uh, question. There was a lady in this room who um, uh, basically was uh, had a, a major disabilities, uh, couldn't stand and... She was in the Big Ram Yoga room. She's been, I've seen her before, but every time I see her, uh, like the instructor will like stop the class and focus on her postures and the things that she can do. And she's got like a greater range of motion. I'm talking about she's in the 105 degree class in a, um, in this special motorized wheelchair that like allows her to stand up and like they spent some money on this thing and, um, she's going for it. So it made me think as I'm sitting there struggling through these postures, and man, if if she can do it and she's here, I can stretch a little bit further. I can go for a little bit more than what I thought was possible. And so so in terms of uh your stomach being kind of funny, meaning you may have some uh gastrointestinal issues, does it make you pass gas? Well, the thing is in that temperature and that heat everything's going to come out, you know, but at the same time, if you drink plenty of water beforehand and you minimize what you eat, it'll minimize the, uh, the gas that you may come up with. My recommendation is to give it a try and, you know, see how your body feels. You know, you can, you can stop at any time. Uh, they have the, uh, what's called the Savasana pose, which is also known as the dead body pose. So you can, at any time, this is like your timeout. So, it's very hot in there, and if you feel like it's overwhelming, you can just lay down. You can take a time out. There's no, like, medals for trying to go beyond what you think is possible. So, you know, if you, you feel a little um, queasy in your stomach, you can stop. You can stop. You can drink water. Bring water in there. The great thing about, and I hope that answers your question. The great thing about Bikram Yoga is that it's your time. So it's... In 99% of studios, 
you're facing a big mirror. Uh, if you think about a rectangle and on the long side of the rectangle, there's a big mirror. Every studio has that because the idea is to pick a spot on the uh, mat and focus on yourself. Okay, I'll tell you that answer to that question uh, after I finish this point. So you get to focus on whatever um, postures you're working on. And each and every time, you know, the instructor is going to call you out and say, stretch further or arch your back or do this and do that. And so you get more and more and more out of it. So in terms of uh, how much it costs after the trial runs. So what they have are different types of class cards. So you can do uh, a five class card, which could be any, pretty much anywhere you go is going to be 15 to $20, 10, 15, $20 per class. Everywhere is different. It could be a community center at my studio. A drop in class is $20. So I can purchase a bulk, you know, five classes, 10 classes, 20 classes, 50 classes, those in it lasts throughout the entire uh, calendar year. So if I was to buy a 50 class card, if I know, well, I don't come every day, but I, I like to get in a class every now and then or every, once a week, I can buy a 50 class card and it's going to be cheaper than the $20, obviously, if you buy it in bulk. So uh, the membership is kind of like a gym membership where every month it is 99 bucks and that's unlimited. So you can go like there's one lady here who went to three consecutive classes. I don't know how she survived. I was in there on the third one and you know, that's a lot. So uh, 90, $99 a month unlimited uh, for an entire year. And they do a uh, auto debit, uh, which I believe is uh, cheaper but you can give them a call and they also give you a free class uh, for your birthday. So when your birthday comes, you get a free class that's uh, redeemable. But again, I ask you if like I, I'm very big into uh, prevention as opposed to doctors telling me I need to, you know, do this or I'm going to die or I have to take 15 uh types of medication per day in order to um, survive. Now, in terms of Frank's question, how often is therapeutic? I understand something is better than nothing, but once a week, every other day. Uh, now, now in your lifestyle, Frank, just so you, for those of you who don't know, Frank's a busy guy, has a lot of things going on. So once per week, we'll provide you with, number one, the mental benefit of it is phenomenal. So you have a place that you can go at any time, no matter what's going on in life, relationship, parenting, you know, clients, management, contracts. You have a place you can go where you can focus solely on yourself. And by the end of that 90 minutes, you will have forgotten or minimized every single issue or ailment that may be bothering you. you it, it, it goes away or okay, it's not that serious. This is what I have to do to uh, to combat this. So I've been to therapists. I've been to a lot of different types of treatment to, you know, try to combat that, that stress and that pressure of um, trying to overcome things or trying to be an entrepreneur, for example. And once per week for me, you know, the Sunday class in the evening is perfect for me to clear my mind and kind of set the table for the next week. So once a week would be good. Obviously, if you go more and more, you get stronger. Like um, I'm a, a grappler. So um, it helps me a lot with recovering my body and the types of levels of workouts that I do. I work out like I'm 18 years old or I'm in that type of physical condition where I have to work out or I go to the gym and get destroyed. So for me, maybe two, three times per week is better. But in your particular case, if you're not trying to run the marathon or fight for the world title, once per week is therapeutic mentally and physically. It kind of washes out the toxins, the junk based on what we eat. It sends blood to different parts of your system. It's 
better than any doctor visit that you can go to. A doctor is just going to look at your vital signs and based on what you tell them, give you a diagnosis. So it's basically an educated guess. Big Ram Yoga, you're actually doing the work yourself. So it's self-medicating. And when you're done, you feel better. If you do it more, you will feel better over time. There's um, a lot of different ailments, uh, a lot of you know things like diabetes uh, with the right diet and Bikram Yoga. You can cure yourself from things like diabetes. And there's many different cases and examples of that. How you doing, Marie Michelle? Thank you for joining in. Tell you something. Um, Marie and I, Michelle, we went to um, uh, yoga together a few years ago. And um, she understands. She, she didn't even need to tune into this. She's like, I, un I understand where you're coming from here. So definitely a lot of uh, benefits. So in short, prevention is the cure. Maintenance is the priority. You should not let a doctor tell you how to be fit. Because if they tell you, it's probably too late. You don't want to be on medications for the rest of your life. Bikram many ways that will help you maintain your body, uh, restore your sanity, and find out new things about your strength, your mental endurance, your toughness, and help your internal systems rebalance themselves and hit the reset button on that. In fact, it is the best.